Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by True Digital Media Consulting. You're online right now and so are your customers, but marketing has to be a consistent journey. True Digital Media Consulting can help with your online ads, organic growth, and so much more. Contact us today at 832-934-4436 or visit our website at truedigitalmediaconsulting.com. Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, Dr. Ashandra Batiste understands that one of the biggest obstacles is dental fear. The vision at Elite Dental Wellness is to ensure every patient is treated with respect, ultimate care, patience, and love. Call us today to make an appointment at area code 713-789-8680. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at thesphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of All Things Beauty. I'm Naturally Kenvy, of course. We're back for another week. Um, Amethyst is actually out this week, but that's okay because I have a super bomb special guest co-host with me today, Miss Megan of Style for Breakfast. Hey girl, hey. Hey, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we got some clapping for you. It's going good. Thank you for being on the show. So guys, she's actually one of my top favorite bloggers. I love her page and everything that she kind of shows off and showcases and represents. So I'm glad to have you on the show today. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me tonight. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad to be here. This right. is exciting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So, so actually, I have to shout out to my Facebook Live uh, people. So we'll be on Facebook Live for about 15 minutes or so of the show. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you guys can um, hashtag all things beauty or hashtag ATB. And we'll be sure to um, answer you guys' questions through Facebook Live. Alrighty, cool. So we always start off every show asking what's on your lips. So you have a pop in red. So tell us what that is. So I'm actually wearing my new favorite lip it's actually by nars and it's called star woman and one of my coworkers introduced it to me she was like this is my go-to and i was like you know what i'm gonna try it and then it's been my favorite red like ever since okay like, it looks really good it looks nice on your skin tone is it a matte or it's a matte a liquid matte oh okay so you know liquid mats can be tricky but right. this one is it stays on i eat with it and it doesn't move like it's it's a bomb matte Okay. For sure. Okay, I actually went to a NARS event um maybe a few months ago and it was really nice. They did they weren't showcasing the liquid lips. I think it was like the orgasm new stuff they were coming out with, mm-hmm. but I'm definitely a fan of NARS as well. Oh, I love NARS. Like even their blush, the orgasm blush, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that's a favorite of so many people. Like a cult like, favorite. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, love cool. It. Well it looks good, girl. Thank no you. red for me today. I actually have on one of my infamous lip concoctions of oh what do I have on? I have on cork lip liner, MAC cork lip liner, MAC arrowhead lipstick, and then MAC fulfilled lip glass on top. Wait, so you have three, three. colors on. Wow, right. I love it. Thank you. So everybody knows I have, I'm have. i a nude girl, and it's always I always have at least two to three things on my lips at any given time. So you can't just be like, okay, what you got on? <laughs> okay, wait, you got pen and paper. I got to tell you it's like five things. So, yep. But it's popping though. Thank you. you so I always it. have to, I keep it neutral, but I have to do better. I w- actually wore a red lip last week, but I didn't wear it for the show. And I thought about it, but I was just like, eh, 
everybody might get I mean, crazy. You can you look cute and everything. Like, <laughs> thank I you. always I wanted I wish I could do my makeup like you. Really? <laughs> thank you. Thank yes. you. Your makeup looks good too. Thank okay, you. so well, we're gonna get into actually your actual go to like makeup style. So hold on to that one. Okay, so we got it. So tell us about your brand. And it has a super cute name, Style for Breakfast. So you have to tell us like about that, the name, the background. Thank you. So actually I've been blogging since 2011 and back when I started that blog that was like kind of like a just play around like just do whatever kind of blog like that was before blogging was a thing that's what I was gonna say like how did you know that it was a blog it was so early it was like I was just like so into fashion like so into personal style I would be I remember being at my brother's apartment getting him to take pictures of me like on my iPhone 4, like, <laughs> outside his apartment. And pictures were crappy. But, I mean, back then, like, it was just for fun. And then now, like, it's just, I mean, I rebranded my whole site. Like, I took a couple years off just because I, I didn't really take it as serious as, like, I felt like I could have taken it or, like, that I wanted to take it. So, and I'm just like, well, it just never left me. Like, mm-hmm. it's always something that I knew that I should do and that I knew that was a part of me. So I just rebranded, you know, took my time, figured out that it was something that I really wanted to do. And I just went for it. And then Style for Breakfast also stuck around with me for the longest. I mean, how I came up with that name is kind of like, okay, so the first, when you first wake up in the morning, like what's, what's the first thing you do? You think about what you're going to wear that day. You think about what you're going to put on. You think about how you're going to do your makeup. So it's like Style for Breakfast. Like, you eat breakfast in the morning. That's like your first, that's in your routine, like the first few things that you do. So that for me, that's just kind of like all I think of. Like, like second nature. Yes, yes. Mm. So, so that's how that kind of came about. And it's just always stuck with me. So then what was the original name for the blog then? Or was it Style for Breakfast? It oh, was, that's dope. Yeah, okay. It was Style for Breakfast, like back in 2011. And even when I stopped blogging, like I still h- held on to that domain because I knew that it would be a while before I started my site up again, before I was ready. And I just wanted to hold on to it that no one, you know, so no one right. else could take it. And I just kept it. So Yeah, see, my website is my name, so I don't even know. I couldn't even think of like a cool name. Yeah. So, so I mean, like, that's dope. Naturally, came. you had the natural hair back in college. You had the big, well, oh, she's going way back. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, yeah, but that's really cool. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, so then you explain the name. So what is if I go to your website or if I go to your Instagram page, what am I gonna find? What type of fashion? What is it? Who is it geared towards? Basically, it's my own personal style. Like it's, I I try to to fit in some lifestyle but I kind of feel like when I try to incorporate something different like you know a a flat lay of coffee and a croissant or a donut or something people want to see like my style they want to see me that's how that's my my engagement is my my style so that's basically what you're going to see my daily outfits you're going to see a little bit of trend because I, I like to try different things I like to try something new by the way, I just cut my hair today. Um, oh, it's cute. Thank you. I, I, when you walk in, I, I was like, I thought your hair was pulled back in a bun, and then you had the bangs in the front. And I was like, something looks different, but, you know, you don't want to be like, I was like, <laughs> okay, so I definitely picked up on that. Okay. That's what it is. I cut my hair today. So it's just like trying new things. Like I, my style, like, my style is very, it can vary, but it's very me. It's not out of the box crazy trying to be someone else it's always gonna fit me and you can tell that by just scrolling through my feet um I'm trying to be consistent I'm working on that but <laughs> we're getting better at it um but yeah so I'm just like I'm trying to step out the box now that I'm back in Houston I've been back for a few months now I was living in Austin for two years and okay I like um, Austin thank you. yeah it's it was it was nice but I was it just I was there for South by Southwest March yeah, this okay. past year. This past March. So, yeah, so Austin is cool. Yeah, but it to me, it just is it's not a place that I can see myself living long term, mm. which is why I came back. And then <laughs> okay. since I've been back in Houston, I've been kind of, like, trying to get out there, networking, um, just making new friends, um, just really putting my time and energy into my blog and, like, growing my brand. So with this new haircut I'm like I'm feeling it now I'm, I'm like I'm cute. ready to take on the world like I'm, I'm ready to do it yeah the whole bob is definitely on trend it's in style so I thought it was cute I knew it was something and I was just like 
We sure you don't want to be like you know be like kind of like come off like rude. No, it's yeah. just like, but it's cute. <laughs> I had a when I had hair, I had a bob before, and it was cute. I loved it, so it's fun. Even before your curls, I've had a lot of hairstyles. I had bangs before. I've had China. Like I've always been that person that experimented with my hair. So for me to not have hair, it's kind of like, uh. But I like it. But the bob is definitely cute. Thank you. Only thing you. is, is that when you wanna when you're having a bad hair day, you wanna put it in a ponytail. I know. Like that's not an option. I know. <laughs> like you gotta get in there and do the hair. That's the only thing. But uh, but bobs are definitely are fun. Thank you. Are fun yeah, I'm, really I'm excited. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Like I just went out on a limb and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna cut my hair today. I've been talking about it for a little while and I just decided to do it. I think it's a good idea. So, so. shout out to you for debuting your new haircut on All Things Beauty. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she got the, she got the bob working. Okay, cool. Yes. Okay, already. So so as far as your fashion, so this is a dis- your page is the display of of you. So in which we were talking about that we actually had a social media influence episode, and there she was asking me. Well, my co-host was asking me. So you have to know what your audience likes. And I said for me, my audience likes selfies. I said mm-hmm. I can go out, hire a photographer, get outfits. I said they're not gonna like any of that. I said, so you have to, so it's good that you know, like, what your um, fan base actually wants from you. So, like, how would you describe your style? Is it, like, I guess, well, I don't really know because I'm not into fashion like that. I think I'm very plain. I kind of stick to white, black, nude. Like, I'm very plain. So, fill me in on, like, I guess, how you would describe your style, your personal style. My personal style, I would say definitely casual chic. Okay. Like, I can put on jeans and a t-shirt and a pair of heels or a pair of sneakers that's me and just dress it up make it cute but definitely jeans are my go-to like I can elevate a basic like I'm wearing jeans right now and in a tank top with the vest over it like this is simple three-piece put together boom cute casual casual chic all day I'm here for that finally somebody that wants to because I would wear jeans because I feel like I'm skinny, so I feel like jeans kind of makes me look a little bit more curvy. So I'm like, okay, i put some jeans on. Because it kind of like accentuates the little bit that I do have. So I'm here for a <laughs> pair of jeans. Especially a pair of black jeans. Oh, yeah. You can oh, do I'm so here. much with a pair of black jeans. I'm I here. mean, black jeans are so versatile. Jeans are, regular jeans are versatile, too. You just got to play with it. Play with your style. Put it all together and it'll come out. So do you ever feel like that you don't have anything to wear? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I have so many clothes in my closet, and it's crazy because even though I just moved, I I still have boxes of clothing that I have not pulled out since I lived in Austin, Mm -hmm. and I still feel like every time I go somewhere, I need to find something to wear. I'm so surprised that today is my first day, like, not going to buy something to wear for something that I had to do. Wow. Okay, so we're going (laughs) to pause that really quick, and we're going to go to one of our sponsors, actually, True Digital. Um, you're online, right? So you, and so are your customers. The question is, do you actively reach them? Marketing has to be a consistent journey and we're here to walk, walk with you every step of the way. True digital media consulting can help with website development, online ads, your business reputation and organic growth on search engines. Give us a call today to discuss a customized strategy for your business at 832-934-4436 or send us an email to info at truedigitalmediaconsulting.com. Mention the sphere to receive a free 30-minute strategy consultation. You know what I'm Really, really not. <laughs> I was like, I was like, is that somebody coming through the through the live? Okay, so cool. So when you feel like you don't have anything to wear, what do you do outside of like buying something? If you have somewhere to go, I don't know, the mall's closed, and you only have your closet because that I because all girls I feel like never know what they're gonna wear. Yeah, I never know what I'm gonna wear. I never know what I'm gonna wear unless I have purchased quite a few things at one time and I'm like okay I'll wear this for this this for this next week but no like today I just kind of like I had an idea in mind I was like okay I want to be casual I want to be cute comfortable so I remember when I actually wore this outfit it was like a few weeks ago to an event that I went to but I didn't take any pictures in it so I'm like you know what 
puts it back on. Okay. It's right back on. And that's what I did. I didn't even have to go buy anything. I do that. I'm like, still kind of new. But. I didn't take any pictures. Nobody really saw me in it. They saw me, but they didn't really see it. Exactly. And of course, if it's not on social media, it really didn't happen. So. <laughs> exactly. I got it. Yep. That's how I made this work, girl. Just okay. making it do what it do in my closet. Because it's really cute. You're making me think about like the pieces that I need like I don't have like a lace kind of canvas I need to put that down it's things that I need to like purchase because I know I use um a lot of um I don't even know what they're called like um King Cardia like those type of sites that put outfits together for you do you use those or do you have those available like on your page or on your website I actually have a shop page on my blog and if you go to the home page you'll see shop at the very top right I believe top right and you can just kind of see pieces that I put together myself or things that I'm currently shopping for myself or things that I have purchased just in case like you want to shop my exact look and so I have that available um, or like even just reading one of my blog posts like normally at the end of my post I'll write like okay shop my look here and then it'll include like all the links to exactly what I'm wearing just like you see there. Oh, you see, that's dope. Um, okay. I love those yeah, yellow so shoes. I would never buy that, but I like that. Why wouldn't you buy it, though? Because I don't like color. Well, I guess because I'm a makeup artist, I would prefer to put color on my face and then just wear it. Like, I could wear all black for the rest of my life and didn't even care about see, it. See, that's the thing. But, you know, if you wear all black, you can wear a pop of, you know, a red shoe, a yellow shoe. Like, you can play with color. I think I have two you pairs of red shoes. I have some red sandals. And I have some red, like, boots. Girl, that makes me cringe. Like, <laughs> I think it's my OCD. Like, it's like, it makes me, it gives me like anxiety um, to like all get kind of go outside the box. I wore a peach, a pink shirt to dinner, and everybody like went crazy. I was like, uh, I was like, I'm not gonna say I was insecure, but I wasn't a hundred percent comfortable in this like pink blouse. I mean, it was cute, but I only bought it because. I knew that it was something that I would never have bought. That's so. crazy. And see, but how did you feel when you wore it? Did nervous. You, you felt nervous? <laughs> I like, felt nervous. But you got compliments, I'm sure. Yes, I got lots of compliments. You know, I, I think it went well with, like, my skin tone and everything like that. But I was just like, okay, I need to go put some black on. No. <laughs> yeah. No, you need to keep trying color. Yeah. Color is it, girl. Color is I'm it. Trying. I'm trying. I'm, um, I'm, like, inching towards it. So do you actually style people as well? Or have you, do you have clients that you consult with or not as a personal business but I actually work for a company I'm actually so I'm an online stylist okay and you kind of you sign up for a subscription and you kind of tell me like what you're looking for a new wardrobe for whether you're going on a new trip or you're going to a wedding and you like I need some dress options or if you just need new work clothes and you have no idea what you want to do but you want to step out and venture off into a new style like I will put together a box of clothing they ship it to you and then bam your style those are the pieces That's that convenient. I'm making for you yeah very convenient so I kind of do that on the side um and I also work in luxury retail so I'm a busy woman with a blog I thought you were not going to be able to but she's like I have to check my schedule I was like no <laughs> Oh, no. Man. Okay, so I heard this on your, one of your other episodes. You said that you were booked, busy, and blessed. Yes. And I'm telling you, I, I was like, yes, <laughs> I am too. And I'm like, September is September is not even mine. Like, it's that's how booked I am. You know, I show people my kind of like, you see those dots? That's that. Like, I'm booked up. Like, you can't call me at the last minute. Like, do you want to go? No, I'm, I'm busy. I know. I'm super busy. I'm traveling. I'm doing shoots like at this point i'm like getting you know starting to get partnerships with brands so oh, it's like wild. it's starting to take off and i feel really blessed and i'm thankful and i'm just working hard and i'm just doing what i gotta do okay well good glad i got you on the show because obviously you're about to blow up so ah. this is her first podcast appearance so i got first dibs everybody i'm just saying <laughs> Alrighty, so on that note, we have to say goodbye to our Facebook Live viewers. Um, Facebook Live, we ask that you subscribe to our show on all major platforms, including iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. Review our show in iTunes with constructive feedback. Share this Facebook Live post and the entire show with your family and friends. And don't forget to donate to our mission to bring enriched and inspiring content each and every week. You can donate at www 
www.thesphere.tv slash donate. Oh, somebody gave us some hard eyes. All right. That, maybe that was from Megan because I'm here every week and I don't get anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So, okay, now we can get to some good stuff. So, okay, you let me see what else I want to talk about. So, before we get to, like, what's n- what's next for you what is your since this is a beauty show what is like your go-to makeup look because i know whenever i see you it's always very like clean it's like minimalistic and it's kind of like you also almost give me like a um uh what is her name i can't even think of it megan marco there you go <laughs> see we're in <laughs> I'm Megan Mark. I was, really <laughs> yes the, the, wow. like the way that you just kind of it just like it's clean it's like prim and proper and i'm just like i love that that is thank you that's such a compliment but the fact that you, you knew who i was talking about you, then you get that bef- a lot don't you you know what it's crazy ever since she got married to prince harry i have been getting that like i'm like i don't think i look like her you don't She's look like her but i think it's the way that you carry yourself yes. or the way like i said just very minimal like i don't need a lot now me i'm like i need contour i need this i need that you're like oh this now this is what i get from being a fan and looking oh i just need to do a little bit of this and i can go like uh-uh. like tell <laughs> us what you do <laughs> how's this go-to makeup what's your kind of your favorite product you know my go-to makeup is always It's the same thing, like very neutral, very clean. Mm -hmm. I never really do color shadow because I don't know how to do color shadow. And if you please teach me. I have to do a tutorial. Yes, do a tutorial. Uh, But a neutral lip, my go-to, just kind of like what you have on your lips right now. That's like my go-to color. And it's it's a color by MAC, and it's called Persistence. Persistence oh, is my oh, I have I I've checked on that one. like six. Mike, seven, can you make a note of that, Mike? Can you make a note of that lipstick? Oh, I can tell it to you. I can text it. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> but yeah, that's like my go to color. Like every single day, night, evening. Look, that's every I've been having the same don't laugh at me, but I've been having the same eyeshadow palette for like two years. Okay, now you know you can't you they only have <laughs> like last 12 months oh no and I was like, do they inspire i need to yeah they venture do. out and get like, another one i mean i guess if it's not broke i mean you know don't fix it but technically since this is a beauty show we have to <laughs> say that you know makeup products do expire <sighs> so i know but it's just so good and it's actually a tart palette and i don't know if they still sell that tart palette but so what is it it's good um it's just basically like bronzes um golds that's all I do, really. That's hey, all I, do. I, I, the type of person, I'm a makeup hoarder, so I'll buy stuff and I feel like I need it, and then I still end up going back to the same stuff that I've been using forever. Like, literally. I have, like, a whole, like, um, bin full of stuff, and most of the time I end up giving it away because I always go to my oldie but goodie trusty products, but, so I understand you holding on to stuff because I really be wasting money, but <laughs> anyway... <laughs> So what's your go-to foundation? My go-to foundation has been Becca. And so is the, the full coverage? Mm-hmm. It's okay. full coverage. Um, I've actually, I've used about three bottles now. So it's really like my okay. my true go-to. So I think it's perfect. It's It lasts all day. I don't get oily. You know, I don't, I don't really see any like, foundation like running off my face oh, okay. at the end of the day so it's good I mean I like it it's my favorite okay I'm gonna try all this it's, stuff it's it's the Be- Becca ultimate coverage foundation okay I, I know exactly in the brown bottle I know exactly what you're talking about now it comes in a glass bottle oh New okay, okay. Yes. okay. I'm gonna have to try that because I've, <laughs> I've seen a lot of tutorials um on YouTube with people that, that use those and they say nothing but good things about them yeah I love it Alrighty, so we're gonna stick a pin because this portion of the show is sponsored by Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, our vision is to create a welcoming practice that will offer exceptional dental care and a lifetime of dental wellness. We are committed to the finest possible oral care and the overall health and well-being of our patients. Elite Dental Wellness is built upon a foundation of integrity, expertise, and service. Through our commitment to modern dentistry, continuing education, and friendly atmosphere, we strive to make our patients feel that they are a part of our family. Dentistry can be scary, daunting, and uncomfortable. Dr. Baptiste and her team work tirelessly to ensure your comfort. 
Make your appointment today with Dr. Asandra Baptiste at Elite Dental Wellness by calling 713-789-8680. <laughs> like you know I'm goofy that's hilarious okay so we got the makeup down so I need to go get some max stuff persistent persistence okay I need to go swatch that and I need to go get a sample because like, I'm getting into getting samples down because yeah. I can't be wasting my money I know and you know what I um I was I just ran out of primer and so I went to Sephora and I was trying to find a primer, something different, because I, I wanted to try something different, but then I was like, something was telling me to just like, get like my primer that right. I normally go to. But I'm like, you know what? I want to just try samples. So I got samples of the Huda Beauty. Is it Huda or Huda? Huda. Huda I believe Beauty. it's Huda. And so I've been using that, and I kind of like it. So I think I'm going to invest in one of those primers. I watched a tutorial the other day, and the girl said that she really liked it. And she said this. She said, I use it all the time she said i use it every day even when i don't wear makeup so oh okay hmm. that's my thing so i watch makeup tutorials like how regular people watch tv so i'm always watching some stuff but now what is your favorite go-to because you always look bomb girl okay so my number one go-to if i'm like stepping out is always going to be mac uh studio fix fluid like that is high full glam stepping out mm, like i'm putting on one. the war paints Gotta look good all night, day night, all of that. Um, as far as like every day, the new CoverGirl matte, it's in the with the black top on it. It's the it's the new matte foundation, but it's really good. Hmm, okay. It's really good. And for me to say, like I really don't praise foundations like that because I feel like they all kind of work the same. It's like just like your technique, but that one is good. And I'm actually, I actually got my friend, um, they sent her a PR package. So I got it to try it for free because I got it from her. And then now I'm like looking for my shade in store. I can't find it anywhere. So I'm going to have to order it online. Mm -hmm. So when I hunt something down, that means it's legit. I mean, of course, if I have a bin full of, you know, stuff, I can just pick up. I'm like, no, I need that one. So like that's been my everyday foundation. So that's a good one to try as well. Noted. Let me keep that one in mind. Because I'm all for the drugstore options because I know, you know, you got to keep them coins. So you, you're going to be booked and busy and blessed. You got to keep them coins in your pocket too. I know. To go all, you know, with all that. Yeah. So, you know. But, okay, so let me see what else. So I know that you mentioned that you are, you know, getting new pa new partnerships and stuff like that. So can you reveal who you're working with or or – how you went about getting those partnerships and collaboration well basically it's just all about putting yourself out there like i've been collaborating more like now i have i surrounded myself with uh three other women who are also bloggers and you know i truly believe in collaboration over competition like that's how that's i you know being with them i kind of learned a lot of things um i was put in contact with people that they were in contact with so it just kind of loops are all around like it it's just all about connecting with people and once you just start being consistent and putting yourself out there people reach out to you too and they see what you're doing they like what you're doing and that's just kind of how it, it all happens like you never know who's watching you at any given time just making connections and you know keeping people in mind that you that you feel like they, they would contribute to your success or vice versa like just always connecting with people genuine relation, genuine relationships like that that's what helped me along I mean it's still helping me because I'm obviously not there yet right okay because I know so as, far. as far as being a natural hair I guess influencer or a blogger it's very different from fashion because I have friends that are fashion bloggers you guys like run in packs so like which I guess can be a good thing because you can you know feed off of each other like being creatives versus where the natural hair scene everybody's kind of like separate everybody does their own thing everybody has their own you know events and i think that we kind of take something from you guys and just say let's do a whole collective of things and you know we can reach more people because if you know if you put all of your fan bases together it's like a mega fan base and, you, yeah. and so everybody's gonna get to pick okay well who they identify with instead of having to support people separately mm -hmm. so i think i think that's dope yeah i mean it's super dope it help, it helps a lot and you just establish friendships you know it's not all about oh who's doing better than who who whose outfit's cuter than who's like it's just we're all doing this together we're all 
collaborating basically so so are you gonna be going to fashion week i'm going to fashion week oh man i'm not on my fashion week hair oh that's so, why we got the new hair for okay I, not only that but i was just like ready for something different okay because if you go back back on my page like i'm bun like the bun is megan like okay that's me or extensions <laughs> i have been trying to take care of my natural hair so okay. I'm, I'm getting better with that so i am focusing on my hair now so my cut is my new look i but think yes, that bob I'm, is gonna be cute with whatever you put you put with it for fashion we gonna definitely make a statement because you don't have to worry about it. it's, it's like the perfect lens to where you can actually see the whole outfit so i'm, I'm, I'm here ready for, for that fashion week. so any particular shows that you're going to or i don't know yet or secured um a show yet but we do have some events that we're going to be attending and uh maybe a presentation here and there but not an actual fashion show yet which i would like to secure at least one or two okay that's dope. i'm going to be watching to get the whole fashion week experience i'm know? stalking everybody's ig story so i can see what's going on <laughs> while i'm here in houston like being regular you know speaking of ig story you said that you just started using uh, stories yes. recently. like within like maybe like two months ago i i was helping on snapchat and i was like i don't need ig stories but i get more engagement that way because people are nosy you know you know, it's it's crazy that you say that because sometimes when you're posting on your stories, you know how they have like it's the top border like on Instagram uh-huh. before you scroll down to the pictures. People see that first too, and so if they made them made them not tips, you know, have seen the, the picture that you just posted yesterday or 12 hours ago, they'll see your story as like the most recent story, so they'll be able to go right to that and then go to your page from there if. They're interested. Because people are lazy too. They're nosy and lazy. But yeah, it's actually been working to my advantage. I, I, I'll post a story about whatever and I'll have maybe 800 views versus me posting a picture that only gets like 400 likes. Yeah. So if y'all out there, watch my stories and like my pictures. Thank you. Watch. Well, that goes for everybody. I think all influencers, bloggers, bloggers, whoever wants you to like, do both. So please don't yes. be lazy. Let's support. <laughs> be let's, engaging. Let's support each other. Engage. Like that's that's the thing. Just engage and people engage right back with you. So, so my next question is: So who like takes your photos? Because I know a lot of fashion bloggers like have their boyfriends or husbands or whatever that are like really like involved in what they do. Because I mean, you know, of course, I mean you can keep it you know, the less cost because photography is expensive. Oh, yeah. So, like, do you have people that, like, reach out to you and want to work with you or do you work with, like, smaller photographers, like a barter system, or how do you work that out? Well, I for, I invested in my own camera because okay. I told myself, I was like, you know what, I'm going to learn photography and I'm going to get Desmond, who is my fiancé, I'm going to get him to learn photography so I don't have to be dishing out hundreds and hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars like monthly to take pictures so he takes my pictures um i mean sometimes i work with a photographer here and there but that's if i have to do something like specific like if i have to shoot a look for a brand and i need them to be like super quality right quality you know have them edit it professionally then i'll hire a photographer but for the most part he takes my pictures and i just edit them on my own so i'm so glad that i got yeah. that because you you're know, always dropping heat so whenever i look everything that you post is always always looks high quality so i'm like how does she have time like to do all of this especially if you don't have someone to take the photos for you because i know for me when i did used to do like a little bit of modeling and stuff i absolutely positively hate other people taking photos of me really i think it is the most it's a lot <laughs> like, it is. I can't like, and my candid shots are always better than my oh, post like this. Now look like you're happy. Now do this, and I, it's just like I feel so silly. Like no, no so I, I admire <laughs> people who let other people take photos of them. Yeah, yeah, and it's kind of like it's become, it's just like a natural thing. Like when I'm taking blog shots, I'm not, I'm not being posy or just you know, I'm just being myself. Like I move, I move the bag, I move this jacket. I'll take it off my shoulder or whatever mm. but it'll be very graceful and not like I'm trying to be like a high fashion model or anything but it's just 
very just me, very natural. Um, yeah, fashion. I don't care because they were like, yeah. okay, take a picture. I'm just gonna okay. You know, my regular, <laughs> regular <laughs> little pose. Regular. Okay, already. So this portion of the show is sponsored by the Sphere. Because we got to get this last ad, girl. Because I got some more questions I want to ask you. <laughs> Are you starting your business and looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to reach out to thousands, to thousands of people across the world to build your brand and or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at the Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States, as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue, coupled with your strategic ad, is surely to hit the mark every time. Call us at area code 832-772-7789. Or send an email over to advertise at the sphere.tv. All right, shout out to the sphere. Without the sphere, we wouldn't be here. That rhymes. I'm gonna start my rap. That career. was a good one. That I'm was start my rap. Career. Okay, so what is like next for you and your brand? What do you see your brand in the next five years, two years? What's next? Oh, it's it's gonna be my business. I'm that calling it like it's gonna be. My full-time job. You better speak that. Plus more. Like, I'm calling it out right now. And if maybe not in five years, hopefully sooner. Exactly. I'm just, I'm receiving it, Jesus, please. I'm just working hard. That's all I'm doing. I'm just trying to make it. I think it, that's dope. Just trying to make it my main, my main priority. So, I lost my train of thought. I, but, <laughs> I know, I was, like, I was about to say something, but no, go ahead. No, you're fine, girl. I talk a lot. What do you want to tell us? I was just going to say, I mean, it takes a lot to build something. It takes a lot of dedication, hard work to build a brand. But if you're really dedicated and motivated, like, it'll work out. Like, you'll start to see things, everything that you vision start to unfold. And it may not go as planned, but, hey, I mean, every business, every entrepreneur has their zigzag path, like, ups and downs. Things are always going to happen. Like, I stopped blogging for, like, three years, and then I just – decided to start picking it picking up the back again and then now it's like taking off and now I'm like reaping some of the benefits but you know I'm still not there yet I'm just growing as I go and so I make time for things that I really want to accomplish or things that I really want to make time for like blogging is my hop it's not only my hobby it's my passion like I'm I think about my blog when I wake up think about it before I go to bed like it's it's my baby so I'm I'm just constantly trying to develop it and I inconvenience myself a lot for it too mm-hmm. like I work full-time sacrifice and I have a part-time job that means if I have to go to work at 12 30 in the afternoon I have to wake up at 6 a.m to get ready for a shoot shoot at 8 change head to work and then, bam, come home, edit my content, or come home and do my st- my part-time styling gig and call it a day. Do it all again the next day. Yeah, you definitely got to have It's a lot of footwork, and that's what I tell people. They say, oh, well, I'm like, girl, first of all, I, I was natural for, I think, six years. And I think I just recently, maybe three years ago, decided to start monetizing it. So it's, you don't just, it doesn't happen overnight. And I tell people it's a lot of footwork because it's like you're marketing yourself. You have to sell yourself, which is, you know, 10 times harder than, than marketing a brand that's already established. So I totally get that. And it's like, it's the new thing of being Instagram famous or being an influencer because people think it's easy. You're going to make lots of money and blah, blah, blah. No, it's hard work and you have to, you know, you can't just be playing around with it if you want people to look to you for influence and be able to influence other people. So I'm definitely uh, agree with that. So I was going to ask you, what advice would you give to someone that's trying to, that's saying, oh, I want to be or have a style for breakfast or be like Megan? What advice would you give them? I would say, girl, (laughs) girl, (laughs) just go for it, girl, because like I said, I you know, it's, it, it is a lot of hard work and dedication. And I feel like if you really want to start a brand or start a blog, whatever it may be, just start it. Like, the only thing you need to do is just start it. Because if you don't, then when are you going to start? And That's a good what, point. Are you, what are you waiting on? What are you thinking about? 
what was taking you so long to just take the first step in whether that's just signing up for an account on whatever site you want to host your blog on making that first step and keep going after that is it's what it's what's going to take you like where you want to be because that's like your bread and butter just your foundation is making the first step and going forward from there and then each day just set a little goal and then go from there like you know one day okay I want to take some pictures next day I'm going to edit them the next day I'm going to write the post and then I'm going to put it all together and then I'm going to share it so just little things here and there Mm. that will help you get to where you want to be is is key the key is just starting like you have to just start no matter go ahead i'm I'm thinking as you're talking because i'm I'm inspired right now y'all i'm a fan um (laughs) i'm a fan (laughs) that's so crazy to hear that like i'm so yeah i mean i'm nervous being here right now like this is i'm nervous as (laughs) you can say hell (laughs) i'm nervous as hell like I'm just like glad you got this water right here that's almost gone because I'm thinking of like, oh my god, what am I gonna say? Like I'm on a podcast, but no, girl. this is super dope. But yeah, no, we're nice here. We're nice girls. I'm feeling and like, guys for guys that are yes. watching, gotta <laughs> gotta include everybody. We're inclusive. Yeah, so it's just yeah. I mean, I'm I'm glad to be where I am now, and I'm constantly growing, and I feel like making genuine connections genuine friendships like people who just get you surrounding yourself with people who understand you and who are like-minded also helps too because I'm, I'm I'm trying to learn every day I'm actually reading this book right now by Brittany Hennessy and it's called Influence and if I hear one more thing about that book I'm gonna have I'm, to buy it oh it no you need to buy it. I will buy you one like the <laughs> no. book is that I'm taking notes from this book as I'm reading like I'm serious like it's a learning tool for sure like she's dishing out all the gems wow. all the information if you are in any kind of you can be a food influencer you can any kind of influencer. like you need to read that book like it's so helpful and it's just like she's putting so many things into perspective that you probably wouldn't even think about that you need to be doing mm. like I'm I've never read a book where I wanted to pull out a notepad and take notes mm. that's how influential that book is like I was like reading the first chapter and going to my website or going to my Instagram and making like subtle changes that she was saying that you needed to make. And I'm like, oh, that makes so much sense. Wow. Like, let me do that. Like this, this book is good. I saw at least five posts about that book like today. And I was just like, I don't need that. Cause I mean, it's just, it's just crazy to me that when I, when I started, like this wasn't a thing. Like, as far as, I was just posting because I thought I was cute. I had my little hair, my little curls was popping. But this wasn't a whole, and I was the whole thing. And people have events and workshops stuff on how to teach people how to be an influencer. So my mind is just blown from that. Like, that is crazy to me. So, okay, I'm going to have to read it, even though, you know. It's a whole new thing. It's a whole new epidemic. Like, the world is opening up. Yeah. And so many businesses and so many brands are willing to pay influencers so much money just to post on Instagram. Because that's the thing. And, and I'm like that, too. If I, if you tell me you have a business, you don't have an Instagram, I can't trust you. I know. You oh, what's your Instagram? <laughs> not what's your business card. Not what's your website. Right. What's your Instagram? Right. I, need to see. I need to see what you right. do. I need to see the quality. I need to see what you represent. I need to see who's representing you. Like, everything. I need to check it out. That's very what true. It, whatever, no matter what you say, if you have a grievance, social media, you can handle everything <laughs> <laughs> through. I've done it. Let me have. Yes. I'm taking my grievance to social media because you're going to respond that way because you do not want to put yourself in a negative light. And this is like big companies that were around even before social media even happened. So, wow, that's crazy. It's the thing. It is the thing yeah. now. All right. Anything else you want to share? Anything you got upcoming? Any events you want to? I know you got an event coming up, girl. Actually, Thursday. So if you are in Houston, we're hosting an event um, at this boutique called Eris in River Oaks District. And I'm probably not saying that correctly, but I hope I am. Um, And it's going to be this Thursday from 6 to 7 p.m., August the 30th. And it's going to be me... um, I know you've probably seen them on my Instagram. Shay, uh, Nikki, Brandy. So I like Brandy. Us, you like I Brandy, Brandy. Brandy's cool. Brandy is super cool. And she's inspiring me to wear color. So I'm like, I'm trying to 
get some more color in my wardrobe for New York. And I'm like, okay, girl, I see you be, yes, with the color. Um, so, yeah, it'll be us four hosting an event. So even if you're not doing anything, pop by. I will. That's that's dope. Okay, the River Oaks District is very nice. So I'm pretty sure this, this place is really, really nice. Okay. so It's a little high end for you, girl, but... It's, they got hey, some, some gotta get stuff. some coins, girl. Yes. Books, busy, blessed, all of that. Yes. So one more time, River Oaks District, Eris, mm-hmm. from 6 to 7 from p.m. 6 to 7 p.m. So that's okay. this Thursday, August the 30th. Okay, well, everybody try to make it out and show her some love and all of that because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a great a great event. So you got you a, a shameless plug right there, girl. <laughs> all righty. So we always like to end the show with a Tip Tuesday. It could be a tip about anything. There we go, Mike. Tip Tuesday. Tip Tuesday. Anything you want to leave for the people before you go? I would just say whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're considering, whatever you want to do, personally professionally just do it like nothing should be holding you back nothing about finances nothing about your current age or whatever there's no time frame for anything that you want to accomplish just do it that just do it that even blessed me okay nike she she, <laughs> she wants y'all to work with her okay <laughs> on to you, girl. If, if you're watching anybody that works for nike Hook her up. Send me some stuff, too, but hook her up. Like, she she going to be in the pictures. I just want to wear the stuff. <laughs> and, you know, like I just, I just, I just, right, that's it. That's all I can do at this point. <laughs> yeah, so what is my tip? Dang, that was a good one. Oh. Just be flawless. That, too. That's, that's always a good thing. But I'm going to piggyback off of what you said and just – whatever it is go well i know what it is do not think that things are going to happen overnight because this young lady said that she was went from blogging to not blogging to blogging again so you have to give stuff time to manifest so do not think that you're gonna that you're gonna get microwave stuff it takes time especially if if your brain is gonna be based off of people people a little fickle sometimes so you just got to give give your dream so once you start like she said you have to give it time to manifest yeah so that's my tip have a little bit of patience patience i'm still on that long journey i'm still trying to grow my following and you know it's okay i'm not impatient with it i'm just learning as i go and i'm just being myself and trying not to get too into numbers but just letting it happen as it happens at this point i realize i at, it's not really always about the numbers it's about the engagement that you get exactly because i've seen people with seven thousand followers that are getting um, hooked up with major brands and it's not even because so if for you to get the comments and the likes somebody's watching they might not be subscribing but they're watching like me for example the shade room i don't follow the shade room but i'm going on there every day yeah like I, I do what's going thing. on so I do the same thing i want to know the latest i want to know the tea the sips and the gossip but you know that doesn't mean that i'm i'm sharing going to be myself. in right in, right invested into it so yeah, yeah. and so. be nice just be nice and people That's will be nice one. back to you like i I'm not this huge, massive influencer. I respond to people who reach out to me and ask me questions. I like and comment other people's pictures, and they're not even influencers. Just be nice, because being nice goes a super long way. Like, you never know who's listening to you. You never know who's watching you. You never know, you never know who knows who. So Exactly. That's, yeah, that's. Because I'm pretty sure you were not expecting to get an email from me. No, I was just like, oh, my God, a podcast. I was like, like, yes, girl. I was like, I want her on my show. Oh, my God. Like, So, yeah, what made you make that I have my, I have my little people that I watch. And I'm like, I like her. Her stuff is good. And it's just like it's not even like about it's like a, what your content is to me and I'm like okay she always has it popping she always looks cute she had a mules on looking I never Girl, I my liked on today. mules and I'm like now I want to go buy me some <laughs> like like literally I and mean I look like, so these right here that I got I actually got these on sale and you. see a mule doesn't have to be like a grandma mule you know it can be a cute mule as long as you wear it right but like you really can wear tiny mules feet. right now so i just i, I this just never been my thing but i'm like okay now i gotta go buy when you're posting about that nordstrom sale <laughs> i was like i'm gonna go buy these shoes because of this girl so y'all have my people that i watch and i mean i'm big on supporting people and especially women of color especially um people period because you know you have to give support to get it so right. I'm, I'm all about that and everybody's trying to grow and build their fan base and like i said when i was you know starting my brand i didn't have any of this everything was uh word of mouth or 
people telling people, oh, this is her. So I had to do a lot of work, and I really, if I can help somebody, I'm all for it. Yeah. So, But I have my little favorites. I have some more people that I want to get on the show, like Boss Babes. Like, we got to get it. Yes. So I want everybody to win. It's enough sunshine for everyone. Yeah. So, but yeah. You're, never, you're not going to get anywhere by yourself. Like, just nip that in the bud and just come to terms that you need you will need help along the way you need some kind of help you cannot do it on your own unless you are a unicorn and none of us are unicorns <laughs> are so, those even real <laughs> <laughs> i wish because they're really pretty yeah so you heard it here first from miss style for breakfast make sure you guys look her up so oh what's your social media we forgot that my instagram is i am good like megan well i'm sorry i'm good like megan not i am don't don't search for i am it's i'm good like megan um and yeah on my blog is style for breakfast you can find the link to that in my bio on my instagram right there up there so yeah all righty well thanks again miss megan for coming on and just blessing us with your beautiful spirit and just being just so nice Aww. and being so humble because i can get a little bit carried away sometimes so i have to have somebody kind of you know bring me down but yeah i appreciate it you can come back anytime anything Ooh, else you don't have tell going me that on. i might be back so girl, you come you back. girl call us we here <laughs> you know but yeah so thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of all things beauty uh, on the Sphere Podcast, same time, same place. We will be here next week. And thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. Thank you.